Now, having raised the issue of compartmented security, uh, we might as well address uh, an example uh, of that. Uh, well, use that as, as an example. Well, whichever. Um, uh, and uh, particularly because this particular example raises a number of issues of access control uh, that we need to consider uh, when we are dealing with access control as a whole. So what do we do about the uh, backup media uh, when we make backups of our uh, data on our systems? And uh, uh, let's, I mean, you know, we can assume tapes here. It, it really doesn't matter what the, what the media is, the, the media changes, but the considerations of what we do with it remain the same. The um, so first of all, where do we where do we store our tapes or whatever it is that we are storing in the machine room? Well, the machine room is a place where fires very often start because, of course, we have an awful lot of electrical equipment there, and uh, you know, so uh, maybe having the backup media in the machine room is not a very good idea because if we have a fire and our systems uh, go down, our backups go down as well. So, uh, you know, consideration of, you know, the, the compartmentalization, you know, having compartmented security may mean being in a different location somewhat removed from a possible source of problems. Um, then we get into issues of media protection. And in general, you know, is this a good place to store uh, media in, in general? Is, uh, do we have to make specific protections for our media in, in certain situations? Uh, do we, you know, what, what are the considerations? Um, now, it depends on the, the media, of course. These days, uh, it, it's quite possible that our backups could be on USB sticks. And uh, given the uh, technology involved in, in solid-state uh, drives, um, sometimes these are extremely robust. We have had uh, cameras recovered from uh, tsunamis, for example, uh, and other disasters, um, and fires, and, and so forth, where the uh, the camera itself is is no good, but the storage media is is fine, and we can recover the the data with no uh, particular problem, um, even when it has been very badly physically damaged. Uh, so it you know it depends on on the media, but that does uh, raise the issue of the physical access control. You know if if this is now very small, very portable, very easy to uh, abscond with, um, then you know do we have to do more in terms of physical protection? Um, if it's very easy to lose, you know very small uh, items. Uh, the the backup uh, uh, material can can be something that you know drops down uh, onto the floor and then you know gets kicked under a, a cabinet and you know is that our our backup uh, that is now lost um, which you know, may be recovered at, at some future date but uh, if it's recovered by somebody else. Uh, do we have to have, uh, well, in, in terms of it being lost, you know, let's, you know, consider having a custodial function. Is somebody going to be taking care of the, uh, uh, the media for, uh, either working media or backups? But, uh, you know, in, in the case of our example here, you know, our, our backups, uh, so... Do we have media logs so that we know where something was? Uh, 
at the very least who it was issued to who was responsible for it again our accountability in terms of access control um and uh so you know they the the logs the monitoring the the stewardship of uh, these materials um if somebody else gets a hold of it have we encrypted it and and particularly in the case of of backups we've we've talked about that we've talked about the importance of encryption and uh making sure that we have uh the uh the materials in, encrypted uh so that uh somebody who does you know pick up this media doesn't have access to our entire database or you know whatever confidential information uh there may be involved there um uh environmental controls um uh, well my father-in-law uh he uh, uh had a uh you know he had a, a computer he had uh, floppy disks three and a half inch floppy disks at the time and uh uh he stacked them up on uh, the corner of the desk and uh, kept them, stored them, if he wasn't immediately using them, uh, in a fireproof safe, which had uh, the door opened uh, upward. And so he kept it open beside his desk uh, so that if there was a fire in the house, he could, with one swipe of his hand, uh, drop all those discs into the open safe, flip the lid down, and exit the house. Um, a, a very good uh, plan. Um, there was one minor quibble that I might have raised with it, and that was, at the time, fireproof safes were rated for paper. And, of course, uh, floppy disks, essentially, you know, being a specialized form of tape, um, they were... Uh, uh, they wouldn't last as long as paper at... Uh, certain temperatures and and so those uh, fireproof safes were you know safe for paper for a certain period of time uh, that tends to be what fireproof ratings are all about uh, but uh, not for uh, magnetic media for tapes for floppy disks and that sort of thing so uh, again the environmental controls uh, that we need to uh, address in uh, various issues so all all of those uh types of things all of those issues um in in one example in terms of compartmented security for backup media and, and raising a number of factors that we need to address in security as a whole and particularly in regard to access control